Hello everybody and welcome back to the Excessive Gaming Channel and Car Mechanics Simulator 2018. This is our Let's Play series and we are up to episode number 22 today. So if you could quickly drop us a like it would be much appreciated. And of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Okay, so yeah, what are we doing in episode 22? Well, yeah, we are back with another story order. Nothing's changed in the garage, so let's go straight away. We've got the uh, Cast Avalanche i4 DOHC is the next story order. Uh, my car has some serious steering issues. I don't feel safe driving it anymore. Please fix whatever is wrong with it. Thank you. Okay, so we'll take that order. So the first job is let's uh, I'm assuming we can start the car let's try and take this to the test track so that's something we don't do very often uh, where is it test track fast travel aren't there we go so yeah we'll take this one straight to the uh, uh, the actual test track give it a run out and see what happens if we don't uh, steer right, then uh, it's obviously a steering rack issue. Keyboard steering for the win. Given this uh, our garage the uh, keys to my car to get sorted out, I wouldn't appreciate them ragging it around a test track like that. But uh, it's all a bit of fun. It gets uh, a feel of what's wrong with the car. And then, of course, uh, between doing the test track run and putting it on the test path. Uh, gives us the opportunity to find out what's wrong with the car. So there we go, so we've got some front springs, the outer tie rods are knackered, the uh, front sway bar, front spring etc. So it gives us a bit of information about the car. Now what we're going to do is send the car straight onto uh, the test path. We know it's running, we know that there's steering issues and suspension issues but this will give us much more detail about brakes and uh, any rubber bushings etc that need doing so definitely got brake issues and the balance of the brakes is wrong as well so uh, it says it's a uh, Brake servo is not putting the fluid through or the ABS module. And there we go. So that's give us a bit more information. Shock absorbers, rubber bushings, etc. Brake discs, brake calipers, etc. etc. So you get the idea. So what we're going to do is move the car now to lifter A. And then of course we can uh, make a start, get through the doorway. Get up. So we'll have a quick look in the engine area. Yeah, you can see that brake servo's knackered, so we'll take that straight off. The ABS module looks knackered. So we'll take that off. And the ABS pump as well. Knackered, so that means brake pipes, etc., are going to be changed. Let's get that right up. Get these uh, 
wheels off. They look a bit knackered, I know. Get all that undone. Take that off there. Yeah, you can see the brakes are knackered. Calipers don't look too bad though. 82%. Pads are at 9%, so they need changing. 18% there. Now, looks like we've got that uh, knuckle that's going to need doing. But to do that, we've got to take all the other gear off from around it as well. Stripping that all down. Yeah, so we've got to take it off the suspension. Let's uh, get the right one off first. The sway bar can come off. The sway bar link. That'll allow that shock absorber to come off. No, don't do that. Want uh, this one here. The uh, lower suspension arm come off. And then that no, what we're missing. Oh yeah, the uh, tie rod look. It looks knackered as well, so that can all come off. The steering knuckle can come off. Take that inner tie rod off. Whilst we are here, and what we're going to quickly do is look at uh, examine mode. Yeah, you can see the two. Uh, all the rubber bushings etc need coming out but then again the like cross member needs coming out as well This one here, look, we want to take out. So we'll take all that out. We're going to have to take the wheel off this side anyway. So, yeah, plenty of uh, bits and pieces that need coming off. Caliper looks knackered this side, so that's definitely going to need changing. Brake pads. Discs. Let's take out the drive axle there. Oh, I need to take out the wheel bearing. Keep forgetting that when I'll go to do the uh, wheel hubs. The cover needs coming off. So it looks like we've got in the entire front suspension. Sometimes it's easier just to cut the entire thing and uh, start again with whatever's on there. At least that way you get the... Uh, you definitely know which parts you need to do. Okay. So that's the entire front ripped out. The rest of the car actually looks pretty good from this angle anyway. Might have a little bit of uh, issue on the back suspension there. Maybe uh, these need doing. Go into uh, examine mode, yeah. See, we've got a couple of bits there that need doing both sides, but uh, we'll worry about that in a moment. Let's see what we can repair how the parts we just took off. So, what we're going to do is just spam. We're not going to spam because most of that is stuff that goes straight back on. So it doesn't look like we need to repair any of the parts, but anyway, let's uh, part mount. So that front suspension cross member definitely needs changing to go into uh, the main shop. Can't 
spell now. Front suspension cross member. Get one of those. Might go in there. Of course, you definitely want to put the bushings in. We're 83%, so I think we need to get those changed. Uh, so we're going to have uh, get quite a few of these in. I know we're going to need them. Put a dozen of them on straight away. Do the steering rack. We need a new one of those. Steering rack. And of course, that has the tie rods. So we get two of those and two of those. rods in each side. Uh, sway bar, definitely need one of those as well. Now is it a standard front sway bar? It is and I think it was uh, one of those. I think it'll be link A arch. I don't want to get those because I think we've got a couple of Couple left in stock. I can't put them on yet anyway. So we put that steering knuckle on, we're gonna need two of those. Front steering knuckle A. Front steering knuckle A, we get two of those. One for each side. That tie rod can then go on. lower suspension arm. We've got one of those which is new. So that can go on. Knuckle cover, that's 82% so we best get uh, two of those from knuckle covers. I'm not sure which one was needing replacing, so it's best to get two of them. And the front wheel hub, they're both at 82%, so I don't think they need doing. The wheel hub bearing, they're both at 82%. And then we've got that drive axle going there. So we'll come back to brakes in just a moment. Let's uh, have a look at this front shock absorber. We've got one that's brand new. There we obviously built up. So we'll install that one. Which means then we just need to get one more built up. So we want front shock absorber A. We're going to want a cap for it, and we're going to want a spring as well. So we'll come out. Let's. Uh, where's our spring pull there? So we're going to join parts. Put those together. That way, that job's done. Take those parts. So if we think that side's done, let's have a look at this side. So we've got the uh, knuckle, the lower suspension armour, we needed one of those. Grab one of 
those out of storage. Say storage, the uh, ordering website. Shock absorber, that can now be installed. Got a sway linkage. Now they're both on 83%. So I'm curious whether they needed doing or not. Um, let's. I think the magic number was 82 percent. We'll put them on, and then of course, if they need to be changed, then we can change them. Put that new knuckle cover arm. The wheel hub is at 82%, so we'll just put that one on. And we've got the uh, wheel hub bearing, that's at 82%. And then that front drive axle is at 82%. So, next up we need some brake discs and two ventilated brakes. One for each side. I'll put two, uh, get two lots of pads on there. Now the module, the pump, and the server. I'm not sure how they're doing, so I'll wait till we get up there. Brake caliper to 82%. Cylinders at 82%, so they should be fine. What are we missing here? Something's missing. Ah, the yeah, tie rod. Look. Otherwise, it would have let us just put that wheel straight on, like so. Yeah, as you can see, the wheels are knackered. Some from the previous job as well. But uh, yeah, the wheels are knackered, so they need the wheel and tire is knackered, to be honest. So we'll get those changed. Brake disc on, the new pads can go on. That caliper, oh, the caliper's knackered. The cylinder's okay, so we need one caliper. Pop one on there. So that's that job done. Got the sway link there. ready for the wheel as well which we know we need to change so we'll leave it at that for the time being let's bring it back down and we'll get those couple of bits done inside the engine bay which we said was a brake servo that definitely needs doing the ABS pump and the module is going to need doing as well I think so the pump the module and the survey. Order all three of those. And the module uh, we did. We already had one according to that. Or was it repaired? Never mind. Always handy for other jobs. So that. I believe is everything done in the engine bay. Some rubber bushings there. Brake disc that says it's the rear. Brake disc there. Rear suspension. Brake pads. Two standard tyre bees. Okay, so I think that's it for in the back there. Let's, uh, I was going to say we want to separate the tyres and that, but do we? Yeah, let's just separate them off, then we know exactly what we are ordering. Let's grab a pen and paper because I'm terrible at remembering these things. So we'll take that, then we're going to go into inventory.
scroll down to the bottom. Uh, no, don't get rid of it yet. So we want uh, the rim avalanche 19 ET0 and standard tire B. 55 R19s. So yeah, I'm terrible when it comes to remembering chains of numbers like that, so I have to write them down. Uh, we go into the rim shop first. So it's a rim uh, avalanche, which is this one. As far as I know, we need two. They need to be 19s with ET0. And then we can come back to the home once again. Into the tyre shop. Standard tyre B. We definitely want two of those. 19s. Two. 35, 55. Yep, there we go. I'm just questioning my writing now, but there we go. Should be right. Let's just double check a bit quick. Two thirty-five, fifty-five, nineteen. So that was fine. We did get the right ones in the end. So we're gonna uh, join parts together once again. Rim avalanche. Standard tire B. Get that on there. Take that, we're going to put that straight on there to balance. And then we're going to install the launch that standard tire B. Okay, let's take that. Take that. Balance that one now. There we go. Take that, they can both go back on so that we know uh, those are now done. Status. I think it is just rear parts now. Looks like it's just rear parts, so let's uh, start by taking the rear wheels off. Let's see those brakes need doing on the back this corner anyway. So we go into examine mode and that will show us that uh, we've got two bushings that need doing. One and two. Get those replaced uh, straight away saves us forgetting them. Terrible for forgetting the bushings like that. So we've got a brand new one of those as well sitting around, so we might as well just replace that whilst we are here. So if we go back to examine mode. As you see everything is now green on that side. Let's 
far as we can see. So that's all good. Go back to part mount. I'm not sure if we've got any brake discs in. No, we haven't. So we need to get those in. to examine mode. And yeah, as you can see those two rubber bushings there as well need changing. Straight into part mount, put those on before we forget them. Oops, no we don't want to do that one because that was only 83%. We've obviously uh, run out of them. for the time being. Pop that one in there. So this rear upper suspension we need to either repair or grab a new one. Which we can't so I'll go straight in. Uh, they're going to want of course some rubber bushings as well. suspension arm, we only need one of them because we already had one. Come back to part mount. Pop that on there. There's a small rubber bushing we need in there, look. Can you believe that? used up all the ones that we had. So in there then. So brake discs we definitely need two of those. It's just the standard brake discs. Always replace the pads if you're replacing uh, discs. changed. I believe we can put that wheel back on. And then onto the other side. Part mount. Get those discs on. Brake pads. Now the caliper is an 82% one so Hopefully that should be fine before we get too carried away let's just scroll through the jobs no it's not happy with that so uh, yeah, take that off and quickly pick up a caliper no what we're doing part mount Press the right buttons, there we go. So that's the pads on the new caliper on there. Put that wheel on there. Like so. So if we bring that down, I believe that is the vehicle done. Go car status. Oh, we didn't change the oil so we've still got that to do. Everything else has all got green ticks so that's all good. Just got to quickly change the oil. That's moving the oil drainer. Move equipment to lifter A. 
used equipment. Oil looks pretty good in there to be honest. Move equipment, place that back. And there we go, just remove the uh, jack completely. Didn't want the oil filter doing by any chance, did it? Drain oil and refill with new, so that's fine. Didn't ask us to change the filter. nice new oil in there and that is another job done I believe close that down right click no we don't want to do that one yeah so that's took that one so we changed the oil we've done other bushings the rear suspension the brake discs the front shock absorber the front springs the uh, brake discs on the front the lower suspension arms, the tie rods, brake pads, brake servos, modules, etc. A couple of rims, a couple of tyres, steering rack, more rubber bushings. And yeah, you get the idea, a couple of knuckle covers as well. Total money spent $6,792 and total payout, some money we're getting back in is $15,559. Finish order, and that is another happy customer. So there we go. So that is uh, episode 22. That is going to be it for today. Hopefully you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, remember to drop us a like, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new, of course. Well, I'd say that's going to be it. Thank you very much for watching, and we shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.